We've come over here to Drakewell Park in Titusville to find out exactly what the link is between the oil industry and Vaseline. Looking around, we found this place to be really interesting with lots of indoor exhibits and a working replica of Sir Edwin Drake's oil well. One of the neatest things about We met Barbara Zoli, the director of the museum, and asked her about that link with Vaseline. And she told us the history of Vaseline really starts with this guy, Robert Cheesebro, a chemist from Brooklyn who showed up out here to get a piece of the brand new oil business. So he was talking to the people who were actually working at the wells, the roustabouts, and trying to determine what the funny, sticky, gooey stuff on the rod lines was, and if there were any possible use for it. They allowed us that it was pretty worthless, but that they had noticed that if they got it on their hands, it generally made their hands softer and would heal cuts. Which they needed when working with all of the rods and connectors and everything that linked the different wells to the engine house that powered them all. See this stuff right here? This is the beginnings of Vaseline. So what happened next? Robert Cheesebro took a sample back with him to his laboratory in Brooklyn and found a way to filter it, melt it down, and certainly make it a lot more palatable looking as a medication. And then he started inflicting wounds on himself and using it to heal them. Now I can think of some better ways to figure this out, but his experiments apparently proved that petroleum jelly did speed up the healing of his cuts. This right here that's running all the rods that are running around the place is called the eccentric gear. It's a little off center. Somehow I identify with it. One of the amazing things about Vaseline is not only its ability to heal, but the fact that because it's mineral based, it doesn't support any kind of organic growth on its own, nor does it come with its own germs. So the Civil War at that time was experiencing a lot of difficulty with the animal fat based salves that they were using to repair wounds and ending up with them being more contaminated or infected as a result of it. So Vaseline was a major use in the Civil War and has been in every war since. Vaseline has been with us for almost as long as the oil industry and has shown up in a whole variety of forms. The Vaseline in this bottle is 100 years old. For all intents and purposes, it's as good as it was 100 years ago. Vaseline over time has a tendency to darken and in this case to become granular. At this point, although I don't want to waste it by putting some on, I'd be willing to try it. This is one of the semi-portable wells, just another type of well that developed petroleum jelly on it. And that's the story of Vaseline, as crude as it may be. A copy of the program you've just seen can be purchased through Penn State Media Sales at mediasales.psu.edu or by calling 800-770-2111.